Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see JCE encryptor and decryptor with new USB. So what is JCE? JCE is nothing a Java cryptography extension. So we will going to see a JCE algorithm. Okay. Okay. Uh, why we want to encrypt data? Uh, okay. So like we have some important data. We have some confidential data. We have some financial data. We have some banking data. If you want to send those data to the destination party, right? It must be secured. Like, like it, it should be, you know, sent in the encryption form. You know, like, uh, like some attackers or hackers may may not able to retrieve the information from those data. It is very important. Like financial data, it contains lot of lot of important data. Like, you know, costing details, lot of confidential data. So you have to encrypt those data when you are sending outside your network. Okay, so I am going to show you a small demonstration where you, how can you use JC to JC to encrypt or decrypt your data. Okay, what I will do, I will create a file, new mule project. I will say encrypt, decrypt app. For runtime, I will keep 3.8 only. There can be multiple runtime in your environment. You can select depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting, I will not going to touch. I will say finish. Just one thing. By default, our enterprise security is not available with your AnyPoint Studio. Fine. You have to install the enterprise security. Okay, and you can install this uh, enterprise security with only with the AnyPoint Studio Enterprise Edition. So how how can you do that? Go to help under help. You have to go to install new software. Okay, I have just added. Uh, let me check. Yeah, this is the URL: HTTP Security Update Site 1.4 Amazon WS.com. So what you have to do, you simply click on Add. You have to give some name and the location of your enterprise security. You can find it from the Mules document also. Just give anything, any name, enterprise security, and you give the URL. So it will start installing that uh, enterprise security in, into your AnyPoint Studio. Fine. So, so I have created a new application. Now what I will do, I require two folders. Okay, so under source test, so I will create two folder. Uh, let me go to folder. I will say in folder. Finish. I will say one out folder. Finish. Or fine, that's fine. So now what I will do, I will drag and drop one file connector. Into the message source region. I will first thing I will going to configure it. So what is we are just now create a in folder. So we will give the path for in folder. Is it source slash test slash resources slash in? Okay. Now I look for an encryption component. By default, as I mentioned, it is not available. You have to install the enterprise security. I will say encryption. Now what you have to do, you have to first do the connector configuration. Click on this add button. There are various algorithms: JC, PGP, XML. We will going to see PGA, PGP and XML encryptor in, in, in the future video. But currently we will go to select JC encryptor. Say OK. Now what operation you want to do? I want to encrypt my data. Okay. JC basically encrypt your uh, can encrypt streams, bytes, and the string. Okay. Now you need to select encryptor. So what it should be my encryptor is JCE. Now one important setting, you can see a lot of thing like JCE encryptor configuration for operation. You can see XML. So for time being, we will use JCE. Here we will say define attribute. You have to provide the key. Okay. So I will provide the key which is 16 bytes long. I will say test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. I will copy it. This key is very important. You will be requiring this key when you are going to decrypt the data. So you want to use the same key for encrypting and decrypting the data. Okay. Now next thing, key password. It's not mandatory. Why? See, sometimes what happens? Your key, you know, your key has been stored in some store. Okay. When you want to retrieve your key from the store, you have to give a password. In that case, you don't have to give a password. Algorithm. Basically, which algorithm you want to use to encrypt your data. So select that algorithm. I will say AES. Now encryption mode. So Mule use some encryption mode. Okay, Mule to 
input your data. So I will use CBC. Fine. That's done. We have done with all those settings. So we have defined like operations. We have defined connector configuration. We have defined JC uh, configurations under which we have given the key. Okay, this key we, we will use same key to decrypt our data. Fine. Now I will create one more. I will drag and drop one more file connector. Here we are going to save our decrypt data. So we have output order. Source test resources plus out. Fine. That, that's it. Let me enable the application or start my application. Let's wait while application is deployed. Okay, our application has been deployed. Now, what I will do, I will create one file, a new file, fine, and I will say test.json. Say finish. Let me find out some content for JSON. If I have any content, so I will simply copy paste from there only. This is my message. So what I will do, I will paste it here. What I will do, I will say save all. Yes. Now I will just copy this file into in folder. Copy and I will paste it here. So check. Okay. Now refresh the application. You can see the file has been encrypted. You can see encrypted file. Okay, what I will do, let me copy this file. We will use same file to decrypt. So I'll paste it somewhere. Okay, let's cancel it. I will first rename. Searching for refactor. Rename. I will say test. This is encrypt file. In I will say OK. I will copy it. I will paste it here. OK. Now what I will do, I will stop the application. You can see like your file has been encrypted. See, this is encrypted file. Fine. So I will stop the application. I will remove all the files from all the folders right now. OK. Now what I will do, I will remove the uh, decrypt file also. Just we require encrypt file now. This is our encrypt file. And now I will do some changes. What are the changes? Encrypt file folder as it is. Go to encryption. Just you have to change instead of encrypt, you have to use decrypt. Fine. And always make sure you are using the same key which you have used for encrypted data. You are using the same algorithm and same encryption mode which you have used while encrypting the data. Fine. Now let me save the application. It already saved. Okay. Let me check. Okay, I use the decrypt. The rest of the setting, you no need to change it. It remains same. Just you have to change the operation. And make sure key algorithm encryption mode is same what you have used while encrypting the data. Now run the application. Okay, the application is deployed. So what I will do, I will copy. See, this is my encrypted file. So I will copy it and I will paste it in in folder. Okay, now refresh it. Now you will see some file in out folder. Okay, it will be, see, this file has been decrypted. Fine. So JC is very simple algorithm. It's very simple to configure. It's very simple to use. Just one thing you have to make sure. Whatever settings you are using while encrypting, you have to use the same settings for decrypting, like key, uh, algorithm, and encryption mode. Fine. Okay. If you like my video, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching it.